The Paycheck Protection Program has loaned half a trillion dollars to thousands of small businesses and some bigger ones as well since the start of the pandemic. And there's still more than a billion dollars left to hand out. So what does it really take to qualify? Maria Medina discovered for some, not much. And we got a tip from a viewer about suspicious activity involving large PPP loans, so we decided to check it out. We are on the hunt. Hello? For an elusive South Bay entrepreneur. Hello, Maria Medina from KPIX. Lebnitz Trans Businesses just got over a million dollars thanks to the coronavirus pandemic. He registered four companies with the state in May, and one month later received large paycheck protection program loans for each one of them. The four companies are on the Small Business Administration's list of companies that received PPP loans. 88 Cloud Computing, 88 Enterprise Services, 88 Investment Empire, and 88 Venture Capital. Within the span of a week in June, each received between $350,000 and a million dollars in PPP loans. Turns out the companies are just as elusive as Tran. According to filings with the state, they provide cloud computing and investment services. Two of them list 24 employees each. Hello? But there was no sign of activity at the address listed for all four businesses, a home in an affluent South Bay suburb where no one wanted to talk to us. We had no luck at any of Tran's other numerous properties. Does Mr. Tran live here? One tenant we met told us to get off the property. Does he own this house? I don't know. When we finally reached Lebnitz Tran on one of his multiple cell phone numbers, he hung up. We checked with the county, and Tran's four companies are not licensed to do business here. And it turns out there are more red flags. One of the rules of the PPP program is you cannot get more than one PPP loan. Professor James Wilcox at the UC Berkeley Haas School of Business says to apply for a PPP loan, you also have to have been in business by February 15th, before the pandemic started. Trans companies were registered with the state in June. This is not a program that was designed for startups. But he says he wouldn't be surprised if some unscrupulous companies are gaming the system because the application process was purposefully designed to be simple so that desperate small businesses could keep afloat and pay their employees. As a result, he says it's vulnerable to abuse. These loan applications require relatively little documentation. It's much easier for example, to fill out the application for a PPP loan for an amount that might be, say, 50 or 100 or even 500,000 or a million dollars, much easier than it is to get a personal credit card. Really Michelle Connolly hears all kinds of stories at her Boondocks barbershop in San Carlos, but this one hit home personally. It makes me think that there's something wrong with the system. She applied for a PPP loan to keep her Boondocks barbershop afloat during the pandemic, but she says she was turned down. Yeah, it's devastating. I have four children. Um, I have a mortgage. I have barbers here, and we all are trying to work. And for somebody to basically cheat the system is just unfair to all of us, all of us small business owners. In a statement, a spokesperson for the Small Business Administration told us the SBA does not comment on individual borrowers. Evidence of waste, fraud, and abuse with any of SBA's loan programs is not tolerated and should be reported. The agency has yet to respond to a critical report by the Government Accountability Office. The watchdog agency found a significant risk of fraud in Paycheck Protection Program loans. The GAO report recommends that SBA develop and implement plans to identify and respond to risks in PPP and address potential fraud. Professor Wilcox suspects that's going to be a tall order. These loans are really designed to be almost entirely forgiven and not paid back. Millions and millions of these loans have been made, and it will be a gigantic task for any government agency or anybody else to really sort out. And after Mr. Tran hung up, we texted him to let him know that he could call us any time if he changed his mind and decided he wanted to talk to us. So far, that has not happened. In San Jose, Maria Medina, KPIX 5.